I made a video entitled 10 Facts About the Virgin Mary You're Not Being Told, in which I explained that Mary can't hear your prayers because she's not in heaven, rather, she's asleep in the grave, waiting for the resurrection at the second coming of Jesus. A Catholic priest named Michael Nixon responded to my video, arguing, that when God told Moses he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that he is the God of the living, not the dead, that means that believers go straight to heaven upon death. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you're new so you get notified about my future uploads. Mary can't hear your prayers. Mary can't hear your prayers. Okay. Catholics Tell me about are this. taught to pray to Mary because they believe that she can intercede on their behalf. Mm. But since Mary is in the grave waiting for the <laughs> resurrection at the second coming to be taken to heaven, uh -huh. she can't hear your prayers because she's asleep in the grave. Not to mention, communicating with spirits of the dead is prohibited by Scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 10 through 12 tells us, there shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire, or one who practices witchcraft, or a soothsayer, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. So, so a couple things about what he's saying here. First of all, he's not taking seriously the words of Jesus. And, 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 and when someone, uh, you know, basically, uh, when people challenge Jesus and Jesus talks about when the Sadducees, who did not believe in the resurrection of the dead, and unfortunately, um, the gentleman here is sounding like a Sadducee debating with Jesus. Jesus talks about um, when, when God spoke to, to Moses and said, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, that he's the God of the living, not the dead. You know, I take the words of Jesus very seriously. My argument was not with Jesus. I completely agree with what Jesus said about death. I just don't agree with what the Catholic Church teaches about death because it's not biblical. I'll talk more about why in a minute and I don't believe like the Sadducees. The Sadducees believed that there was no resurrection from the dead and no afterlife. I do believe that there is a resurrection from the dead and that eternal life awaits all believers in Jesus. The Bible is very clear about that. I just don't believe it happens immediately upon death. Speaking of the resurrection of believers, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 through 17 says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. That makes it evident that we will be resurrected and taken to heaven to be with the Lord when he descends from heaven at his second coming. And Jesus himself stated in no uncertain terms that he wouldn't take us to heaven until his return in John chapter 14 verses 2 through 3, saying, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Believers who die before the return of the Lord sleep unconsciously in the grave, awaiting his return. Psalm chapter 13 verse 3 says, Consider and hear me, O Lord my God, enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. According to the Bible, death is like a sleep, so after you die, you remain in an unconscious state of existence until the Lord calls you to come forth from your grave at His second coming, if you're a believer. And one of the reasons that we remain asleep in the grave until Jesus returns is because the judgment has to take place. Contrary to popular belief, God doesn't judge us immediately after we die. God's judgment is executed at the second coming of Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 says, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. 
judgment determines whether or not we will go to heaven. So if the judgment isn't executed until Jesus' second coming, we have to wait until then before we go to heaven. You know, when you start looking at all of the verses that speak about death, the resurrection of the saved, God's judgment, and heaven in the Bible, it becomes clearer and clearer that believers don't go straight to heaven upon death. Now, there are a few verses that are interpreted to make it sound otherwise because they're being misinterpreted to fit a preconceived idea. But the body of evidence makes it clear that people don't go straight to heaven or hell for that matter upon death. One of those verses which are misinterpreted is the one that the priest in that TikTok video mentions. It's Mark chapter 12 verses 26 through 27, which reads, But concerning the dead, that they rise, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the burning bush passage, how God spoke to him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. You are therefore greatly mistaken. Here the Sadducees were disputing with Jesus about the resurrection. And Jesus couldn't be telling them that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were resurrected and in heaven now because as we read already, the resurrection will happen at the second coming of Jesus. So what's the meaning of this verse? One explanation is that since God is not bound by the restrictions of time like we are, the past, present, and future, he can speak of future events as if they've already happened. Remember, God created time, so he transcends time. He is an eternal, spiritual, timeless being who transcends all all physical limitations. So the future is just as much a reality to God as the present is for us. Doesn't that just blow your mind? But that's the kind of God that we have and problems arise when people try to put God in a box and define him using the limitations that he has imposed upon us because we simply don't know any better because he's not subject to the same limitations. Big thanks to all of you who support my channel with your prayers and donations. Your support helps keep my channel going to reach more people with the gospel. Please continue praying for my channel. And if you'd like to make a donation to help me continue making high quality Christian videos, you can make a one-time PayPal donation or a monthly pledge on Patreon. Links to my PayPal and Patreon accounts are in the video description. The Bible is clear that believers don't go straight to heaven upon death. They sleep in the grave, waiting for the resurrection at the second coming of Jesus. One reason for this is because God's judgment isn't executed until Jesus' second coming, and the judgment determines our eternal destiny. And when God spoke of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as being alive, it's because God is not subject to the limitations of time like we are. When Jesus returns, he will take believers to heaven. But in order to make it to heaven, there is something that we need to do to prepare ourselves. Otherwise, we will be left behind. Discover what that is by clicking on the screen to watch my video entitled, How to Prepare for the Second Coming of Jesus. Also, please like and share this video to help spread God's word. Thank you for watching and God bless you.